Pike Pisces. I'm an energy worker. I'm here to bring you a 10 day forecast. Um, again, it's a 10 day forecast. It's an immediate reading. Um, 10 days goes by really fast. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. It may only fit with a few of you. All right, Pisces, let's get right into this. All right, Pisces, let's look into 10 day forecast for Pisces, a group of Pisces that really needs to hear a message. Um, a 10 day forecast for Pisces. 10 day forecast for the sign of Pisces. Let's get into this reading here. We have new love coming in and we have a new reality coming in for you, right? It's coming in. I, I, I know, I, I feel like you can feel this love. Either it's in your existence already, either it's in your life already, or you can feel like the energy of it coming towards you, right? You have been consistently here looking at something from the past right? Very consistently with the queen of pentacles energy, right? This, you, this, this love could be someone coming back from the past for some of you, because you're definitely here connecting. You're connecting this love offer with something that happened in the past, whether you are still looking at hurt and trauma that it happened to you in the past and you're not seeing the love offer or it's not as attractive to you as it normally would be because of something that has happened in the past or, it's somebody that is from the past that's coming back. All right. So there, there, there is something here with the past. Either the past is keeping you distracted from seeing this love offer or this love offer is connected to you somehow from the past. Right. It could have been, um, this could really be love though. That is, you know, if you have been wishing for a commitment, if you have been wishing for a relationship with someone who um, can walk with you in your journey, that can be a team, a teammate with you, right? If you've been asking for that and if you've been praying for that, we see that there is an offer here that's coming forward um, in the next 10 days or so that could really be um, that offer for you, could be that one. And we see messages coming in. We see messages of love coming in. Now, what's interesting about this is, is we have the moon card here next to the queen of swords. And so you're feeling defensive. You know, you're, you're feeling defensive about this love offer. That's why it's, again, it's slightly uncomfortable. It, it's connected with the tower. So it could be connected with something that um, happened to you in the past that was quite severe or quite traumatic, that was quick and fast. And it really um, tore your world apart in some way with the tower. You could be connecting to that energy here. Whatever it is, there are messages of love coming in. And th they're brought in with a sense of patience, a sense of understanding and compassion. So whoever is bringing these messages in um, knows somehow the experiences you've had, knows somehow that you are in this queen of swords, that you are in this very protective energy because there's something here that makes you feel uncomfortable about this offer. Again, it's being brought forward to you though with understanding and with compassion and with warmth. There's something here. It's like you, you know that this could bring you balance. You know that this could be your wishes coming true, but there is this element here of betrayal or lies or something. It's, you could be wanting more information here with a moon card, right? You could be wanting more. Whatever is being brought forward to you, you're saying, well, that's all well and fine and good, but I really need to hear about this aspect of it. I really need to know like why you did that or why you said that or what, what were you thinking when you took that action? You know, I really need to know that. I mean, I hear what you're saying about love. I hear what you're saying about that, but what about these other things here? That, that are really making me raise my sword in protection for myself, right? You're in this very strong stance of four of pentacles. Like, look, like, you know, I'm protecting myself now. I'm being careful with my future. I'm being careful with my heart because look, the heart is protected. The mind is protected and the balance and the foundation is protected. So you're, you're being in a very protective place towards the, this communication that's coming in, right? Nevertheless, here we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles is a new reality and it's a new improved reality. The Ace of Pentacles is something that really um, feels like a beautiful gift most of the time. So there is a brand new offer being brought forward, a brand new 
Um, there's something here that could bring ease, that could bring improvement financially, that could bring improvement in your in your third dimensional um, experiences, the luxury that you feel, right? The the how you feel about everyday life. We do see a new reality coming in here for you. All right, Pisces. There, there was some kind of transi transition out of something that brought you a sense of balance, a sense of fairness, right? This is probably connected to the Five of Cups because there is an Eight of Cups here. So there is some history of having to walk away from something that no longer felt fulfilling in any way. It felt empty and desolate. And so you could be remembering a relationship that maybe had a similar flavor had a similar kind of quality to it as the person that's coming towards you. It could be the same person coming towards you. Something about this offer is reminding you about a situation that you experienced before. That is what is causing maybe this kind of defensive stance towards this message of love coming in. But we do see here a reminder saying that you are now a different person than you were those years ago, right? You have new understandings now. You have new strength. You have honed your intuition. You're starting to really rely on your own thoughts and your own, um, and your own perspectives, even more so than the people around you. So, so you have a real strength quality now. And th this is just a reminder to, to realize how strong you are, to realize that you can always back out of something, that you can always stop something, but to also realize it doesn't hurt to stop and listen, to stop and take consideration of what someone else is saying. Because what we see here is a real new potential for something beautiful to come into your experience. Whether this is someone that's from your past that, um, cause some kind of massive tower, or if it's someone that's coming into your reality that reminds you of something that happened to you in the past, we see here that, that there is two aces, ace of love, ace of cups, ace of pentacles. Here in the reading, we have eight of wands, which means incoming, incoming, it's incoming now. And we have the four of rods, which talks about a, a stable, beautiful, romantic, um, foundation or structure with someone that you feel a romantic love for in some way. All right. So this is allowing that love to possibly come back into your life or allowing that kind of an experience to possibly come back into your life, whether it's a Sagittarius energy, whether it's a Taurus energy, a earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, or um, Taurus, whether it's Pisces, here you are, Pisces, here in your reading, Libra is here twice, could also be Aquarius um, or Gemini. We have, I said Sagittarius now a couple times, and, and Libra is here again, Libra is here twice, Sagittarius is here twice. Yeah, so we have air and we have fire that's really here in this reading. Okay, Pisces, let's dig a little deeper into... Um, a couple of these energies before we move over to Vimeo. What is the Ace of Pentacles? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, there's a decision to be made, that's for sure. There's a, there's a decision that's coming forward to you. Yeah, be, because you've walked away from something or you're considering to walk away from something or you had to walk away from something in the past, um, it's that walking away, that situation somehow is a connection, has a connection to this situation. And then we see the six of wands moving forward. You're, you're moving forward, even though there's a risk here, even though you're feeling protective and you're feeling slightly um, threatened in some way, you, you are realizing it's because of some other situation that you had to walk away from. And you're making a choice and moving forward into that choice taking the, making the choice to step into some kind of situation that's risky, that you've had, you're really going to have to rise up and, and move into this in a new way, right? It's risky, but you're, but you're understanding the rewards could be so much more than the risk, right? You're understanding that and you're moving forward into this new, into this new offer, this new reality, this new life, right? This new life. The nine of cups, we have nine of cups twice. So this is something you've been asking for, something you've been wishing for. 
So make sure that you at least give it the time of day, at least give it some time to think about this because it really could be um, the answer to what you've been looking for, although it might not be readily apparent, right? It might be hard to see at first. There's the Ace of Cups here. Four of Swords, Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Four of Wands. This is this is taking some time to heal and really take some time out, heal, and allow in a new commitment of some kind, a new romantic quality into your life. This is, yeah, this is taking the time to heal from something that happened. Um, you, you might be really kind of really closely connected to whatever happened to you before. And so this is taking time to heal from that and allowing um, a new situation to, to, to blossom in, in your life with the Four of Wands. So we have the Four of Wands twice. This is confirmation of twin flame energy, soulmate energy. So this is a really good reading, although it does feel somewhat um, defensive. It's, it's slightly defensive, or you'll be slightly defensive in nature, but it ultimately is in um, bringing in a beautiful new foundational commitment into your life again. Yep, that's what it is. Why is the Four of Rods here? Why is the Four of Rods here, please? Why is the Four of Rods here? So Four of Rods is the overriding energy. Page of Wands, new passion, stirring of the heart, a new message coming forward. There has been healing, you see. There has been healing. You know, we have the Eight of Swords with the Star. So there has been some kind of healing over um, how you felt weak and trapped in the past how you felt um, oppressed and and um, contained or repressed in some way. You've really moved out of that situation and you found a new vitality within yourself, a new healing, a new authenticity here. It's beautiful and profound. And that's why um, you, you're, you're receiving this kind of love now because you have found that love within yourself. Um, you could even have two offers coming in. You could have an offer of love coming in and you could have an offer of a new job coming in, right? You could have an, an offer of a new, uh, of a marriage or engagement coming in. But this is about overcoming something from the past and connecting with a brand new love experience that will absolutely change the way you live life. Your everyday activities in life will change. Could be improved financial conditions as well. All right. Thanks so much, Pisces. Have a good, have a good weekend.